Hey, Scott Jarvie. We're just sitting up here. We'll be going on here in about seven minutes or so. Just got a little music playing. I'm going to go get another light to hook up. They all say Amber is. We're having fun here at the Chadwick household, or the ECP household. I had already gotten some good deals on silver, yes, I'd actually bought about a week and a half ago enough for the next two auctions and I actually uh, got into some of my private collection too so we're gonna get some special stuff today something unique I always try and change it up see all kinds of different things tonight you never know what you're gonna see tonight Hey, Mike Wolf. Yeah, Milo's here. We actually got a coin here for Milo today. It's the Hellhound coin. So that's probably like number 11 tonight. But the Hellhound coin is pretty special. And it's got the, uh, oh, what do they call it? The World Tree. So it's a pretty neat coin. Pretty special. It's the Nordic Creature Series fourth in the series Milo's favorite so we'll have that tonight and that's three nines fine silver so that's number 11 tonight Orlando Florida trying to get the text where it hits the fan yeah I think it's uh, Crystal clear. a day or so away it looks like it's already starting to hit it a little bit there good luck to you my friend hey silver ripples yours went out today got you a special surprise in our trade so don't worry about that, but you'll have uh, something coming out. What's up, C-Rod? We had some fun tonight. I thought about, you know, canceling tonight, but I thought, you know what? Let's just have some fun. I'm going to have everybody do goods and services, even though it cost me an extra 3 3 3.5%. So when you do your PayPals tonight, just go ahead and do it as goods and services so I can use their... Uh, uh, shipping on PayPal so I can just print a shipping label that way. I don't have to go to the uh, uh, Post office I can do it from right here. So everything will only touch this household um, Which we're all good and fine here and stocked up and then uh, won't have to go to the post office To uh, be around any crowds or any other people. Hey, Kevin Rose. Good to see you So yeah, everything you get now Hey, dove season I just finished dinner myself, my friend. It'll be a little bit. Hey, Casey Rhodes. Mike Wolf. Got all kinds of great people in here. 11 people in. 11 likes, and we're still early. Okay. I got the family in here. Any, anybody there in the background? But, uh, yes, if you win anything tonight, you pay tonight, which I, everybody seems to have been doing that, paying the same night right after the auction, which is great. So make sure you got a pen and paper to keep your totals up. It makes it easier on me. But um, send it goods and services. I know in the past a lot, four auctions we've done friends and family. But if you go ahead and do goods and services, I'll print off the mailing label that way from PayPal. It cost me an extra 3%, but that's okay. 
that guarantees your purchase and um, I can use their shipping also so I won't have to go to the post office I can send right from the house I got plenty of Tyvex envelopes so just uh, send it goods and services so don't check the fans and family side but I got a lot of different things tonight changing it up a little bit I try to make each auction different Dazed and confused. Good to see you. And anybody that hasn't been on here that's not already uh the opposite of social distancing quarantining. A three nine's fine. Pollination across the nation. We hope there's not too much pollination. I know I'm competing with some of the bigger channels tonight, but I think we all have a pretty good time. Yeah, mash that like button. Do you want a cleaning rag instead of a paper towel? So until we get started, you might hear my family here in the background some tonight, which is all good. We're just a family channel, right? 15 likes, 15 people on. That's pretty special. So I'll just give you a quick preview. We got something special. For the end of stream big big item i also do have just fresh in from annex some beautiful river of no return coins so those will be towards the end of the auction also so you need a slab quarter if you don't have the last in the series for 2019 there are some west point mint quarters in this brand new slabs literally just opened the box up an hour ago we got a lot of different things a lot of things shaking it up Got some really nice silver eagles in air tights. Three different years. We got a Britannia. Beautiful Britannia. Got some peace dollars. Some very nice peace dollars. There's a 22. We've got, uh, like I said, different years on the ASEs. There's a 91. Think this one might be 2013. Something really unique. We got a Bahamas 80% silver coin. Beautiful, beautiful. These are seen some of these pretty high on eBay. Nice, nice collectible $1. 1966 too. For that age. We're gonna throw it back to Christmas a little bit. Get a little lighthearted. We got a little Merry Christmas. One ounce silver round. So that's gonna. It's a 1998. So this is vintage piece on earth. I thought that was apropos. Got the puppy dogs for my son in here. Of course, we got the Benjis. 55. These are getting harder and harder to get. The 55s are. We got some pretty neat and pretty special. Walkers, it's a really nice detail on them. There's a 46, nicely toned too. These were hand picked out. Another one, I'm gonna get the focus good for you. So we got a lot of things, and we're gonna have some bills tonight too. We got some beautiful Red Seal uncirculated $2 bills. We got some silver certificates. There's another couple of red seals here in there tonight we got the, a stack of circulated silver certificates I think there's six in there so we got a lot of different things there I don't want to give you all everything we see tonight but about oh about not 20 items like we had before so not a big auction hey g-dub hey son I, I get my son's leaving so I'm gonna say goodbye to my son bye Mackenzie bye Blake you all be good be safe I'll give you a call tonight after the auctions over all right, love y'all. So let's see, we get time. I think it's probably about time to start. What time do we got? Yeah, make sure you get their. Uh, they got steaks and roast and hamburger. All right, so let me stop the music. They're leaving, so it's going to get a lot quieter here. It's eight thirty-two. So time to start the. Uh, oh, they're easy, Kenzie. You'll have no problem. Throw her in the crock pot. Okay. 
and then 11. Okay, so we'll get that out there first. I'm gonna do this beautiful. Let's see if I can get some light, get my lighting fixed up here a little better. There we go, a little better lighting. So that helps some. Oh. Bye, y'all be good. Okay, so let me get on my phone here so I can see the chat somewhere besides my screen. We got 23 people in the house, 19 thumbs ups. So we're going to start out here with a 1922 toned piece dollar and an airtight. Check out the condition on this. Nicely, evenly toned, original patina. Decent looking coin. I'd say it probably gets in that fine, very fine condition. But I do like its original surfaces there. Uh, pretty neat coin. Pretty neat coin. So if we can start it off. Anybody want to start out $15 for a nice toned piece dollar? I know silver's in demand. People say they got, they got anybody want to jump in there? $15 for a nicely toned piece. There's Casey Rhodes at 15 New gun, young gun in the house. Remember, guys, you can send this goods and services. Scott Jarvie at 16 Dove season at 17 and $4 covers all your shipping tonight. Anything and everything you get. Jeff at 18 We're rocking and rolling right up the fence post. Let me get that where you can see it a little better. So you see a nice patina. Pinger prospecting in the house at 20 I get my hand behind it. It's usually a lot. There we go. A lot better focus there. Got some good lighting there. Good looking coin there. So we got Pinger prospecting at 20. I'm going to flip over here. Give you another little better look at the reverse. One dollar. Nice patina, original. We'll say, uh, you're going once. The Pinger prospecting. You know, ECP doesn't mess around. He goes pretty quick with it. You go in twice. See if there's any snipers in the house. And trying to get a nice deal on a nice original piece, dollar twenty-two, second year. And three, two, one, sold to Pinger Prospecting. Congratulations. We'll start your bag, Pinger. And everybody knows I ship next day. So you get the items out pretty quickly. I'm sure they'll keep the mail running. At least hopefully that's the plan, right? Yeah, we're 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 in good shape at this household right now. That's Mrs. ECP back there. Maybe we can get her to help me some tonight. After she does the dishes. Yippee, Mrs. ECP says hello everybody. Yes, you never know. You do never know. So we've got finger prospectings. Finger prospect, do you have an ECP holographic sticker? I guess he's one in different auctions. So she's saying you got a sticker already, right? And Dove season, everybody's saying hi, Mrs. EC, Mike hi, Wolf. They're probably waiting for Milo to do a per appearance tonight. Milo, you gonna do a per appearance tonight? So we'll write that down. We'll get to the next item. We're gonna stay on the piece. This is a 23. Again, a richly toned coin. Where's my glasses? They're on my head. Let's see if I can check the mint mark. This is a 1920, is that 23 or 28? I might have it written down wrong. Hang on, guys. This is 28. might be a special year. I think it's a 23. No, it's a 1923. I thought I wrote it down right. Just richly toned. Now, this one is dinged up on the rim. So this is just truly circulated constitutional silver. I want to bring to your attention any defects but you can see the ring dim see here and here so we'll start her out at uh melt which is about thirteen dollars thirteen dollars for a nineteen twenty three piece thirteen dollars let me write pinger down here for 
20 for the 22. And we got uh, Dove Season at 14. Jeff was at 13 at the opening bid, so Dove Season's got it at 14. So right there at Melt, if you can even find silver, not that it's, you know, too, too hard to find, but uh, a lot of the dealers aren't tearing loose of it. We know that's in demand and it's physical silver. It's all-time high, so this is a good constitutional silver pickup. Alexander Stoff at 16, Scott Jarvie at 15, and Alexander, I'm assuming you're you're already registered. Maybe you sent a dollar through PayPal. Hope that's the case there. And if you send a dollar, it just goes towards your your winning tonight when you bid. That's just again, unless somebody here wants to vouch for you here that already knows you in the chat. We just do that so we keep the trolls out that. Try to bid stuff up and then never pay. But, um, so Alexander, are you already pre-registered? I know everybody I've seen so far has. So if he's not, we got Scott Jarvie at 15. We got Alexander at 16 if he's registered. Stormy Guido here. Okay, if you're with Stormy Guido, we're in good shape. That's all you had to mention. That's easy enough to know you're not a troll. So we got Alexander Stroff at 16. You're in good shape, my friend. You're in good shape. So we're going to go Alexander Stroff at 16. You know, ECP don't mess around. See him sort of be laughing because he knows I'm talking to third person here. He gets a big kick out of that. I wonder if CM's in the house tonight. Dove season at the snipe was 17. 17, we're dove season. So we'll go right on down the ride. We'll go once for a 23 piece. Going twice. 18 for Alexander. Good deal on it. Yep. Nicely, richly toned original patina on that coin. Got some dinged up rims, but we're good. good. Yep. Auction time, West Point Fever. Thanks for coming in, my friend. Going once. Got some unique and different things here today. Just we start out with the more common stuff, but silver, silver, right? Going twice. We got Alexander at 18. And we're going to count down to for three, two, one. Sold, sold to Alexander Stroff. Congratulations. And Alexander, I know you've not won before, so you're going to get a holographic sticker with your order too today. And just send everything tonight, guys, goods and service. So I can just use the uh, print off on my computer, the mailing, right off of PayPal. That way I don't even have to go to the post office. ECP is just trying to stay safe. I know that some people say it's overkill, but you know what? I, safe, not sorry, and I won't have to sit there for 15 minutes while they ring everything in. I can just stuff it all in the mailbox out here in front of the house. So cost me 3 3 3.5%, but that's okay. So, Alexander, congratulations. Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for your support. I'm going to put your name on here. You got a nice little Ziploc bag we put this in. You got it airtight with these coins. They're all taken in good shape. You got a nice sticker. Congratulations. Just add $4 for anything you win tonight for shipping. So, add $4. And we're going to be going here in just a second after I get Alexander's with a Stepping the game up a little bit with a really nice ASE. Really nice ASE. Alexander. And make sure on your all's PayPal's you put your mailing address. It'll save me some time because I ship out the next morning, guys. I ship out the next one. A lot of the guys in here, like uh, Dove Season, and they know the one for me before. I got the quickest shipping. On YouTube after an auction it's out the next morning so you definitely want to pay tonight because we will literally have it packed up this evening with the label on it going out first thing in the morning so you don't want to mess ECP don't mess around prides himself on the service and you don't want to miss out and wait so here we got now look at this guys BU choice gem 
get my hand behind this. 2013. Look at this ASC. This stuff you see on there, that's on the, the airtight. This is with the airtight. These are nice, high, high quality airtights just for ASCs. Super speeding shipping from ECP. Speedy Gonzalez shipping. Look at this ASC. This is out of my private collection, my private stack. So I'll add this in. So a 2013 ASC. Let's start her out at uh, $20. $20. Good prices, too, Mrs. ECP says. She knows it. So we'll start out $20. Anybody want to jump in there for $20 for an ASE? I don't think you can get that through Atmex or JM Bullion or anything like that for that price right now. They're still carrying a good thing. Jeff at 21 he knows. A luster bomb. Man, they, I'll tell you what, I still love this design. They are gorgeous. Got Jeff at 21. That includes the airtight. Dennis Stewart at 22. 22, Dennis Stewart. And Dennis, we'll have to figure out if you, I think you're in Canada. We'll have to figure out if you win what my Canadian shipping will cost me. You get something big like that. I can probably figure that out on PayPal and tell you afterwards. Pinger Prospecting at 25. He's saying, hey, I already won one thing tonight. My shipping's taken care of. I'm just going to add it right up. It's a finger prospecting at 25. Her beautiful 2013. That's already what? Seven years old. Lucky seven years old. But beautiful 2013. So we're going to count her down. You know, ECP don't mess around. Going once. Going twice. I think Pinger just trying to get her going. It is a beautiful coin. It's in gorgeous shape. Absolutely beautiful. 2013, seven-year-old ASE and airtight. And you spin in there all along. You can see there's no toning. It's blast white. And we're going to let these things go cheap tonight, it looks like. Three, two, one. To Pinger Prospecting. Any snipers? No. Sold. Sold. To Pinger Prospecting for $25. Let's get his bag out. Pinger, we got it right there. I want to go ahead and get you in your Ziploc bag. That is a beautiful coin. Congratulations. Welcome to stream, Huckleberry Silver. I don't know if I've seen you before. Welcome to the stream. Love to have you. Love to have you. Let's see. I think that one was 18, and that was to Alexander Stroth. And we got this one for 25. The finger. Forgot to write yours down, Alexander. And we're going to go way back now, guys. Now, this is going to probably go a bit higher since it's ASE time. 1991. Now, these marks are on the air type, okay? So, you know, these are on the air type. There's a gorgeous, I'm going to get my hands behind it. There's some scuff marks on the air type. I should have changed it. But uh, here's a nice. Nice coin, and trust me, those are on the airtight. Those are not that mark and that little scratcher is on the airtight, okay? That is not on the coin. That is not on the coin. So it's a 1991 airtight's got a little more age, a little marking on it. This is a beautiful coin. That little mark marks right there, that's on the airtight. So it looks like we're gonna start at $20. I don't think it's gonna stay down there at 20. But Dennis Stewart started at 20. It's a 1991. ASC, Jeff at 22, 1991, so we're at 2020, I have to do my math, that'd be 19 years old, 19, almost a 20 year old ASC, what to start, in 87, so that's like the fourth year, so yeah, that's a heck of a deal, C-Rod at 23, he knows, the 91, these earlier years guys, they, they fetch a pretty good premium, which many of you already know. But you can simply change that airtight out if you want uh, an airtight that's not marked up. But yeah, welcome to the stream there. You beautiful ASC. It's absolutely gorgeous, Mike. It's in good, good shape. Anybody who haven't won it yet, just mention up that you need a holographic sticker. So we got C Rod at 23, Jeff at 24, and all your ships. $4 shipping gets everything tonight. C-Rod at 25, 
Just add $4 shipping for the entire auction stream tonight. And send it goods and services. So Mr. ECP can, Mrs. ECP says, got to go higher than 25 for a 91. And she even knows her coins. She's cracking me up. Finger prospecting at 26. He knows. I love your puppy dog avatar there, finger prospecting. I got to show you Milo here in a minute. Finger prospecting at 26. 26. Yep. 91. A beautiful coin here. Got a pretty good focus, it looks like, on the uh, stream there. So everything goes. Looks like a, a Weimariner. Is that right? Puppy. It's a little small picture for me. That's what he looks like. I just got a uh, English pointer that I picked up on the farm. I'll probably put some pictures in the next, one of the next videos. I did do a farm video today. I haven't posted, but we picked up a new uh, little it's a lab. Okay. I need to look at the picture a little better. Beautiful dog. What color is the lab? So we got finger prospecting at 26 while we find out. Works crazy that happens. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. C rod at 27. C rod at 27 for a 1991 yellow lab. There we go. I got to get my glasses on here. They're on top of my head. Finger prospecting at 28. Back at you, C rod. He knows about these early dates. Early date ASCs. This is a 1991. In great shape. C rod at 29. 29 for C rod. Miss e ECP left the room. Pinger prospecting at 30. And we got a battle royale going on here between Pinger and C rod. Back and forth. We got uh, sniper shots coming left and right, I'd say. So we'll go here once to Pinger prospecting. See, C Rod, C Rod, 32. He just skips 31. Goes straight to the 32 mark. Jumps ahead. So we got C Rod at 32. You know, ECP just counts him down quick. Finger prospecting says he's out. So let's see if we're going to do this. Maybe C Rod's tactics work well by jumping up two, going twice, but we might have lurkers that are ready to snipe two, C Rod. You never know. We've had it happen before, so we'll count it down, see if there's any lurking snipers in the house. Three, two, is C-Rod going to get her tonight? One, sold, sold to C-Rod. Congratulations. C-Rod, I'm assuming you already have a holographic sticker. If you don't, there you go, C-Rod. Beautiful. 1991. C-Rod at 32. Great early year ASE. C Rod, do you already have a holographic sticker? Okay, good. I didn't know when you when you, I know you won before, and there was one auction I had that I had ran out of them, and I got some in, so I wanted to make sure that I had you, everybody had gotten one. So if you win something tonight, whether it's a giveaway or a bid, you will get a holographic sticker tonight. C Rod got it, Mrs. ECP for 32. Thank you. She said, Thank you. Woo woo. She's all excited. She, she didn't want to see it go for 23 or something, did she? To the early. C Rod in the house. We got the Wells bidding tonight. Now we got something special, guys and gals. I was looking this up on eBay, and these were about 43 bucks on. I think it's going to be a little bit numismatic value here. Now, let me tell you a little bit about this coin. This is a Bahama Islands. This is a 1966. It's in an airtight. It's a little big for it, but it's been protected. But look at the luster. Look at the frosting. 1966. $1. I saw this. Not as good a condition as this one on eBay for 43 bucks. Okay. Now, it's not a full ounce of silver. It is. I mean, I looked it up. Made sure I had it right. And I'll tell you about this coin. If you've never seen one before. They're pretty unique. It's the first one I'd ever seen. This is a 1966 Silver Bahama Islands, 80% silver. 80% silver, and it is 0.466, so just shy of half a troy ounce. 
just shy of half a toy ounce. Now, I've seen some beat up versions that were pretty low down there towards melt, but nothing like this in this kind of condition. But how about we start this out at $15? $15 for a Bahama coin. This is ECP saying, geesh, and that's her coin. You guys remember, this is Mrs. ECP's coin. She, I didn't even ask her. I didn't even ask her. I pulled it out. This came out of, this is Mrs. ECP's coin. And it's a Bahama. Who's going to own the first ever auctioned off Mrs. ECP coin from Mrs. ECP stack? And you see the whale? See the whale right up here beside my thumb, by the, just below the D in dollar? Oh, it is. My wife loves the beach. Dennis Stewart at 17. It is a conch shell. Cool conch. Great shape. Yes, check them out there on eBay and see what you're talking about. You'll see it. This is an actual coin. This is not a round. Bahama Islands. Elizabeth II. West Point Fever at $20. He said, yep. I, he looked them up just now. He says, yeah, I see it now. You see it now. I've seen some really nice tone coins. Pretty high. This thing's in nice shape. West Point Fever at $20, Mrs. ECP. He wants to take it. He wants to take your coin home with him. West Point Fever. There we go. Bahama Islands conch shell. And we're going to go down quick. You know, Mr. ECP doesn't waste around, though, even though it's his wife's coin. Going once. Man, you're going to get a steal on this, West Point. There's a gorgeous coin there for somebody's collection. It's a nice one. Really good shape. There we go. Going twice for twenty dollars. I think you're getting a great deal. And we're going to look at the luster on that thing. It is a beautiful coin. Figure the age on this thing already. And we're going to count her down three. Tell Mrs. ECP thanks for the contribution. Dove season said. She's liking it. And three, two, one. Sold, sold to West Point Fever. West Point, do you have an ECP holographic sticker? West Point Fever. Yeah, he's won. I think West Point's won before in here. $20 for the beautiful Bahama. You're welcome. West Point Fever said, thanks, Mrs. ECP. She said, you're welcome. Enjoy. She loved the coin. She's had it for quite a few years. We're going to add him an ECP holographic sticker for West Point Fever. These were not cheap. They're nice, nice, nice stickers. They're my best one, I think. They are the best ones. We got a new dog. You guys hear a dog barking in the background. That is not Milo. And we're going to slide that in. West Point Fevers. And West Point and everybody else tonight, just make sure you send it to my PayPal. There's my email on PayPal. And include your shipping address, please. And use goods and services so um, I can ship it. And make sure the shipping address on your goods and services is the one that I'll be shipping to, okay? Because I usually I do friends and family, and I save that 3.5%. But then I have to go to the post office and stand in line and with all the nonsense going on, we I don't want to fool with it. So we got yours, West Point Fever, right there. So yeah, send it goods and services. I'll eat the 3.5%. It's not a problem. So hey, we're going to go one more coin, and then we're going to do a giveaway. But guys, it's March, and things are getting a little gloomy with all the stuff going on, especially watching news. So I thought, let's shake it up. And let's have a little bit of Christmas in March. So, Peace on Earth, 1998. One Troy ounce, three nines, fine silver. So, here you go. Great early Christmas gift. And this is a looker. There's old St. Nick himself. Checking his list, make, checking it twice. And this is on the flip. This coin's unmarked. I need to clean that old flip off. It's a beautiful coin. And we got West Point, or see, we got Dennis Stewart at $20. It is a pretty coin. The old St. Nick, who wants to be a jolly St. Nick Christmas coin? For one ounce pure, three nines fine, 
Christmas coin tonight. We could use some Christmas and Christmas cheer about right now, I do believe. So old St. Nicholas is here for the day. And if you look, it's got that deep mirror finish. That proof-like finish there. Good looking coin, it really is. And it's, what a great early Christmas gift. Or a gift you stock away and give that to uh, your silver stacker later on. Now, this is kind of, you think about it, this has uh, got some age on 1998, so this is a vintage Christmas coin. Vintage Santa in the house. So are we going to see a vintage Santa go to all the way to Canada? Are we going to send St. Nick to Canada? Or one of you guys here from the U.S. going to snipe it away? It looks like we're, we just got 20. Won't anybody else jumping in? ECP don't mess around. Going once. To our Canadian brethren. Julie Greathouse at 21. She's lurking in the shadows. She throws a shot across the bow. Yep. Use goods and services tonight. And we'll make it easy for me at the mailbox. Won't have to go in there and stand in line and wait for 15 minutes while packages get all marked. Congratulations. Hey, Julie. It's great to see you. So we'll go with Julie. The 21 going once. She's going to take St. Nick home. She's going to ask, see if Julie, have you been a good girl? Hey, St. Nick's going to know and see whether she's going to be a good girl or not. And we're going to count her down to Julie. Three, two, one. Sold to Julie Great House for 21. And Julie, do you have an ECP holographic sticker yet? I think you do, but I'm not positive. Might have been one of those nights, or if you need an extra one, that's just fine. Just let me know. Julie Great House. And these all go out in the morning, so if you want to pay tonight as soon as the auction's over, so that you'll have your items out. No, you never know. God forbid they stop the mail, so you want to Make sure you get your payment, and ECP is going to mail it first thing in the morning. So do you need a sticker, Julie, or are you good? Do you need a holographic sticker, Julie? You don't. Good. You don't have one. So we're going to add one in there for you. Good job. There we go, Julie. Okay, I got it there now. I had to scroll back up and look and see what you were saying. St. Nick is going home to see Miss Julie. The jolly old elf. The nice, nice man is going home to see Miss Julie. That'd be awesome, awesome. They're 21. Let's see. So you've got that Bahamas Island was West Point. You need to write that down. You see, you could do some of my accounting. Mrs. ECP said she was going to come help, and I don't see her helping me. She went back out the door. She said, hey, you're doing good, Mr. ECP. You don't need any help. I thought she, she came in here and made a few comments. Now, if you're in here early, we got Julie all taken care of. We got her bag started. We're going to do something different. And I'm going to do something. Now, these are a little bit more worn. Okay, these are in a good, very good condition. We're going to do a double piece, 1922. This is the, everybody says you can't get any silver right now. Physical silver's in big demand. Well, here's your chance to lock up on two vintage 1922 peace dollars, okay? Now, what's needed with this is, this is an S mint mark and a D mint mark. So if you've got an album that you need an S or a D or both, peace dollar, this is a 1922, okay, peace dollar. This is your constitutional silver. You got an S mint mark, if you can see that right there. And you've got a D mint mark. So there's this one. And a D mint mark too. There's an S and a D. So you got two, you know, these are these got some circulation to them, but they're good looking coins. Double piece dollars. And we're going to start it out at $25 for the both. 
$25 in air tights. Who wants to add to their silver stack with a 22 piece dollar S and D? West Point favorite, 25. Casey Rhodes right behind him on my screen. Alexander Stoff at 27. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, my friend. You got it, Mike Wolf. Double 22s. Two, two, two for your money. West Point Fever at 30. That's only 15 apiece right there. Very, very nice. Dove Season at 32. And this is a S and a D mint mark. These are great album fillers. Alexander Stauff at 33 over the top. Thought you guys liked me to shake it up a little bit. Something a little bit different. Add a little bit to that silver stack in these times where it's hard to find. Right? It's hard to find the physical silver right now. We know what the dealers are still charging. We know what they're doing. And these are still vintage, beautiful. These coins could talk. Think of who's had these in their hands. We got Alexander Stoff at 33. He's already bidded one in auction today. Cost him no, not an extra dime in shipping. So he's loving that. He's going to add some silver to his stack is what it looks like to me. At a great deal. Think of that right now. That's $16.50 a coin for a 22 D and S. Going once, $16.50. Good deal. Even though these are good, very good in condition, they're beautiful coins. They're nicely toned, original finishes. They are Mr. Constitutional, says the Saint. 33, two for your money, guys. This is two coins, a 22 D and a 22 S. Alexander Stroth. They are nice. If you already got them, I understand. But flea bag, they are a good, good deal right now, especially at this price, because you know silver ain't gonna stay down there for very long. And you think of it there, just not too long ago, these piece dollars were thirteen dollars by themselves at melt. So we're going twice. Looks like he's going to get a good deal here to add to his silver stack in the times where. It's even hard to find physical silver. And oh, no. Dove season with 34 over the top. Right behind him, a Casey Rhodes on my screen. So we got it right there. Casey, you are like a split second behind him. Alexander at 35. Snipers in the house. Battle Royale. Absolutely. We are sniping left and right. Young gun from one side. And Dove season with a shotgun across the, across the bow. He's out there dove hunting. He knows. So let's go with Alexander. See if you can get it, Alexander. Got two people in there sniping on you tonight. Going once with a young gun or dove season. Step up and snipe away. Going twice. Still got a great deal with these. At 35, that's not right now, what? $17.50 each for an S and a D mint mark. And we're going to count her down. We'll see if Alexander will get it. You know Mr. ECP doesn't. Waste any time. Three, two, one. Sold, sold to Alexander. Congratulations, my friend. You won two for your money. Two for your money. We're getting your bag out. You got your sticker. You got your, oh, you're, you're going to have a, a trio of peace dollars. Congratulations. All in air tights. And the air tights aren't cheap. These are the nice ones with the rings. So we got 35. Congratulations. Write that down on our pad. And we're going to change it up a little bit. We're going to go into the half dollars. And this next half dollar is going to be a no well zone. So if you don't know about this, this is something we do special for the people and sometimes with that bigger pocketbooks. And we let you decide if you feel like you're a well or not. But it gives the people with maybe tighter budgets to bid a little bit, right? So a no-well zone, and you know who you are if you're a well. Stormy's channel, if you've been on that, we all know who's a well and who's not. I don't consider myself personally a well. But this is something that's been harder and harder to find. I went through two bags of Benji's the other day, and I couldn't find but one 1955. The double nickel Benji's are getting more and more difficult to find. Now, this is a circulated one, but it's in good shape. Got a nice original patina on it. 1955 Benjamin Franklin, right? 
So a 55 Benji. It's not beat up or marked up or anything. It's just got a nice original rich patina to it. It's like a Philadelphia mint mark. See the crack right there in the bell. So 1955. No well zone. When we start out at $7. $7 for a Nice Benji in the flip for the airtight. Casey Rhodes with seven dollars right over the top. It's minnow time. That's what Joseph Richard says. Twenty-six people in the house, thirty-five likes. Been on forty-six minutes tonight. So you got Casey Rhodes. That's seven dollars for the double nickel, the nineteen fifty-five Benji. Original patina. Nice looking coin. And it was not easy. Alexander Stouth at eight. He's going to add it. He said, hey, my shipping's already taken care of. We all love the Benjis. Constitutional, Mr. Constitutional Silver. What I was called tonight. Right off the bat. And you can see these are a nice coin of 1955. Got this from the biggest bullion dealer there in town. Casey Rhodes. It is a beautiful piece. It is a nice Benji. Not been cleaned. Alexander at 10. Casey was at 9. Young gun at the house. Shooting away. Dove season 11. Now remember, Dove season's been the big half dollar winner. Dove at 11. Dove season doesn't mess around when it comes to his um, 2.9 million minted. There you go. So even lower. Alexander at 12. West Point, you're right behind him at 12 on my screen. Right behind him. Hey, Casey Rhodes, young guns out. So we got Alexander trying to add to his stack. Better watch out because I know what Dove season likes. He already looked up that 2.9 million minted. We got Alexander at 12. West Point's already paid for his shipping too. I think everybody in the house has. And everybody else has. So we're going to say... We'll start counting her down. Let's see if that 55 double nickel is going to go for $12 to Alexander. Alexander Stouth at $12 going once. Silver Damsel in the house at 13 And my future daughter-in-law just asked me, she said, what's that? I said, well, that's the good-looking Silver Damsel in the house. Just did a little bit of a trade around with me for sticker to sticker, so... Hey there, Silver Damsel. The beautiful ladies in the house. Everybody say hi to Silver Damsel. Thanks so much for coming in. You got it. So we got Silver Damsel at 13. Lucky number 13 for the 2.9 million 1955 Benji. So we'll start counting her down again. But I know there's some people who like the halves. I know what Dove Season does a lot of times. Going once to Silver Damsel. Ladies in the house. Going twice to Silver Damsel. And we're going to counter damn Damsel in distress. Dove season. I knew it. 14 from Dove season. He likes his halves. He likes his half dollars. He's got a strong 90% collection. So we'll try it again. We'll go once to Dove season. At 14, going once. We're going to keep on messing around here. Going twice. Make sure you got a quick trigger finger because you know how quick ECP counts her down for the double nickel. We got it. She's only five away. So, yeah, if you haven't checked out Silver Damsel's channel, by all means, do that. And... We're going to count her down. Three, two, one. Sold, sold to Dove Season. Congratulations. No numbers. Yeah, it, I'm not too worried about it. There we go. Dove Season. Congratulations. He swiped it from the lovely lady. Yeah, they, they do that here. Is that your first win tonight, Dove Season? It uh, looks like it is. I need to make you a bag. Dove season half dollars. He's usually in it early. We got the half dollars mid mid stream today. Uh, it's a Philly mint mark. The 1955 is a Philly mint mark. 
I don't see any mint marks. It's got to be Philly. So that's his first one for Dove Season. Congratulations. And do you need a uh, holographic sticker, Dove Season, or you got one? Yeah, you guys check out Silver Dams if you haven't. I got some slabs towards the end, Casey. Some of the river and no returns. So we're just that Dove Season. Dove Season, I already got one. Okay, good. Yeah, we're just trying to get everybody that watches my channel a sticker, and then we can start sending out doubles, too. So we're at that. So what did that go for? Got to remember what that went for. Night scroll back. Dove at 14, right? Yeah, Dove went for 14 for the 55. And Dove Season. You guys can write. Remember, we're sending them goods and services tonight, guys and gals. So next in the house, we're going to stay on the half dollars here a few times. We got a gorgeous, nice patina, nice details. See so if I can get a good focus on this because it really does have good details. 1946. Look at the look at the marks in the drapery on your dress. Look at the look at the wreaths up above here. Really nice. 1946. Walking half. I can send you one, Joseph. Just send me an email. You've already won uh, auctions before. If you didn't get one last auction, you don't win one this time, just send me an email. I'll pop a stamp on it, and I will send you one, my friend. FOC, which stands for Free of Charge. This is a 1946. 1946. And look at the details on this, guys. Look at the feathers. If I can get a good focus. This coin was handpicked. There we go. Look at the details. Nice original patina. You got some spotting there. I, I really like the spotting, actually. I like the rich color to it. It's like a Philly mint mark. There's no mint mark on this. But look at the details. It's a strong, beautiful coin. Both sides, okay? Both sides, really nice, strong coin. Look at the details on it. You can see this thing... I don't know where it would grade out. You be the judge, but, you know, I think it's a, a strong coin. It's not slicked out, you know. It's not an AU coin, but I'm telling you, it's up in there. It's up in there in the grades. It's a nice-looking coin. So we'll start this out at uh, Casey Rhodes. Already started at $8. Casey Rhodes, the young gun, already started her out at $8. In Dove Season, you got Alexander at 9 Philly Mint Mark. KC at 10. Dove, did you already have a sticker? Holographic sticker, Dove? Can't remember. Alexander at 11. Silver Damsel's right behind it at 11. We know she doesn't want 111. But Alexander's right ahead of you, Silver Damsel, on my screen. KC Rhodes, the young gun's out. So we got Alexander at 11 for a beautiful coin. You're good on the sticker. Okay, good, good. Put that at yours over the stack there. Okay, just making sure I got everything written down. Give you guys a little better look at this coin. There we go. See if I can get it to focus. Focus here some. So we got Ha Ha Pop, Silver Damsel at 12. Silver Damsel. Look at the details on this coin. Nice rich patina. Doesn't appear to have ever been cleaned. Real original patina on this coin. A lot of good details. So this is like somebody... Put this up in their thing. Pinger prospecting at 14. Pinger's like, I'm already on the board. 1946 Philadelphia. Nicely, nice coin, obverse and reverse. Just richly toned. Richly toned, half dollar. So we got 14. Let's we'll see there. There you go. That's a good look at it right there. We'll just leave her right there. It's got a good focus on it. We'll start counting her down. The Pinger Prospecting going once at 14. Be a good snag, but you better watch out for Dove Season. Dove Season likes his half dollars, and he likes to snipe him at the end. Going once. But, but you know, Dove Season's got to be on his toes because ECP doesn't mess around, and he doesn't waste his time with counting things down. Going twice. Twice. Pinger Prospecting going to add to his bag tonight. The beautiful 1946 richly toned 
Great coin with great details. Walking half. And we're going to see three, two, one. Sold, sold to Panger Prospecting. Congratulations, my friend. What a gorgeous, beautiful coin. I'm assuming that probably Dove Season already had that one. But congratulations, that's a gorgeous coin. $14. Nice looking coin. Panger. Got that written down. One more half dollar for the night. Just one more. I'd like to at least let you know so you don't think there's anything else coming up. One more half dollar. Let's find Pinger Prospecting's bag here. I thought Mrs. ECP was going to help me out. I think she thinks, well, he's doing pretty good at this now. Doesn't need much help. He's not screaming his head off, so she's figuring I'm all right. I lose my voice. It doesn't do me a whole lot of good. That one night I carried on so much, I couldn't. Hardly breathe. So here we go. Last half dollar for the night. Let's get a good focus. Again, this is a good looking coin too. You know how I like the the richly toned coins. I like the history. 1941. Nice walking half. This is not slicked out, guys, whatsoever. She's got her own show coming soon. That would not surprise me. I tried to get her today on the farm. She was helping me feed the cows, and I asked her if I could. Look at the feathers, guys and gals. I'm sorry. These I love the I love the Walking Liberty half dollar. I truly love it. Joseph Richard at nine. He's seen it. He said, Oh, that is a nice looking coin. Even toned. Nice details. I'd mount that reverse. There's ten for Silver Damsel. Silver Damsel at ten. He has a nice coin. I like when the feathers are really got some definition to them like this. Alexander at 11. It's a 1941, five years earlier than the 46 we just went. This is a Philly Mint Mark. Dove season at 13. Jeff's right behind him at 12. So we got Dove season at 13. I knew that would get Dove season. He'd see this coin. I knew that'd shake him up a little bit. Dove season at 31. I'm going to see if I can get that into the holder. Panger Prospecting at 14. You guys can already see the details on that. Panger at 14. Casey Rhodes right behind him at 14. Casey's trying to get him one here tonight. He's throwing them out. He's taking shots left and right. So we got Panger Prospecting at 14. Going once. Should move that around a little bit so you guys can see the the PayPal part. Let's see if we can get a little better. There we go. A little better look at it. Casey Rhodes is out. Young gun in the house. Going twice. Dove season with the snipe across the bow. Right after twice for 15. Dove season likes his good looking half dollars. Has that nice detail. Original patina. Original finish. So we got Dove at 15. He's already got his bag started. He's already got his 14. $4 taken care of and shipping. Doesn't cost him any extra. Going twice at $15. Slug shot from the back row. And we're going to count her down. Three, two, one. Oh, Pinger gets it right before I... Type in sold. Pinger prospecting for a last split second direct snipe to the back of the head. Kapow! Buffalo Joe in the house. Hey, Buffalo Joe, I think he had a buffalo gun on that one. I think he had a Hawkin or 5.56 five, round, said the Saint. He was going modern. I thought we was going 50 cal. I thought we was putting a big old... <clears throat> Direct, direct slide there. There you go, Buffalo Joe. You got it. So you got here. Let's see. We got Panger at 16. But watch out for Dove. Dove knows. Dove's already in the, the – he's already got his bag started, so it doesn't bother him. The extra buck won't put him away for a beautiful half. Going twice. <clears throat> 308 next. We got the bigger calibers. You got it. 
You got it. I just heard my son tell me he was wanting to get there. So we're going to start counting this down. Three, two, one. Is there a snipe in the house before I hit sold? And sold to Finger Prospecting. Congratulations at 16. Beautiful coin. Beautiful. That's an unreal one. Pinger got that one too. Pinger at 16. Congratulations. Let's see, next in the house. Oh, Milo. Is Milo here? Mike Wolf's still in the house. Let's get this in Pinger's bag before we mess around any here. Finger, your bag's getting hefty again, my friend. Finger knows how quick ECP ships out next morning. You guys make that PayPal payment this evening. I'll have that thing packed up, and it will be in there. Three in 50 cal at the house. There you go. He knows how to snipe. Milo, you know, that's not Milo. That is the new puppy dog. I haven't done a video on it yet, but I'm going to. Went out to feed the other day on the farm with my wife and my daughter, and somebody had dropped off an English pointer. Right, bro. We've been trying to find out the owner with no success, and we have a new one called Daisy. My daughter's named her Daisy. She's a young dog. She's gorgeous, and we'll be showing her soon, so stay tuned to the ECP channel. But here comes... We know how we just now auctioned off Mrs. ECP's coin, right? The Bahamas coin's gone. Mrs. ECP gave it up. And this is, guys, Milo's coin. Check it out. Now, this thing is freaking awesome. Now, you guys always like to get into my channel and get something neat, but this is the Hellhound. I'm going to tell you a little bit about this coin. But this is gorgeous. Yeah, you got a meeting, didn't you, Mike Wolf? He met Mrs. ECP and Milo at an outing. We did a gold prospecting outing. But let me tell you a little bit about this coin, okay? If you don't know something about it, this is the Hellhound, Milo's favorite coin. It's one ounce of three nines fine silver, okay? And it's the Nordic Creature Series with the World Tree, and it's fourth in the series. These are not an inexpensive coin. I, I, I should have wrote the minage down, and I didn't. But you can see right there at the back, it's actually stamped. One ounce AG. It's three nines fine with the world tree. Look at the detail, guys. And a beautiful flip. These things are pricey if you see them online. Fourth in the series. Milo bought this one night on me. He did. He got in on the auction. He bought this, and Milo's downstairs. Snake in the grass, says the sink. Check it out. Check it out. Let's start this one out, guys, at $30. This one holds a nice premium. Does anybody want to have it at $30? I'd rather keep it than let it go. It is a beauty. It really, it really holds a nice premium. Fourth in the series, Hellhound. There's the Saint at 31 31 from the Saint. Gorgeous coin. Nordic Creatures, fourth in a series. Look at that. In an airtight, in phenomenal shape, in great detail. The World Tree, right behind it. I mean, I'll tell you, probably shouldn't have taken this away from Milo. I personally am fond of it, too. It's the only one I got, and I'm not even sure that what the mintage is if somebody wants to look it up. Silver Damsel at 33. She knows a beautiful coin when she sees one. Fourth in a series. Nordic Creatures series. Osborne Mint. I listen, I looked over there. I had some more notes on this. this. is the Osborne Mint Nordic Creature series, fourth in the series. That's got the World Tree and it's got the Hellhound. Milo's favorite. Milo's coin. ECP's auctioning off his dog's coin. I should be ashamed of myself. My goodness, this thing's going to go for a song. I've seen them go a lot higher than this. A lot higher than this. But you know what? Maybe everybody's a little tighter now. Who knows? That's all right. You know ECP. Counts them down. 
going once to Silver Damsel. What a gorgeous coin. You may get a steal here, SD. You may get a steal. I got, 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 got any snipers hanging back for this one. Going twice. It's a gorgeous coin. Yeah, you've been watching for that one. That, listen, it is not easy to find. It truly is not easy to find. And we're going to count her down. Maybe it's going to you. The lovely lady is going to get her one. Three. Oh, Casey Rhodes. Right before I type 30 sold, he comes in with the young gun with a shot, snipe shot, last second, right before I push the sold button. Wow, young gun in the house. I think of what kind of caliber that was across the bow. Phenomenal. Late split seconds. Snipe doesn't get any closer than that. And he takes out the lovely lady. Is she still standing? Is she able to get a return shot in? Shoo! 35. She says, come on. She's calling the young gun out. A 338 La Pupa. La Popa. I can't even pronounce that. I'm sure it's a good gun. I don't know that one, and I know my gun's pretty good. Casey Rhodes at 36. He's back at you. He's going back at you, Silver Damsel. He's calling you right back out from the young gun. So we're trying to get, we got a battle going on here between the young gun and the beautiful lady. Here we go, Silver Damsel. Yep, you heard it. She's got the shades. She can see it. Step off, young gun, she says. Let's see. She's going to snipe the young gun at once. Whoa, 37. 37 for Silver Damsel. The young gun's calling her back out. We got a battle on the rail. We got a sniper shots across the walls. They're digging deep into the trenches here. Silver Damsel at 37. Going once. Casey Rose. Is he going to snipe the beautiful lady tonight? Going twice. And you know ECP doesn't matter. It is a shootout. Oh, got to type, type, getting fat finger typing in soul. Three, two, oh, 38. Holy cow, what from Silver Damsel? She thought she had it. I was actually mistyped. I was trying to get in sold, and I hit the W instead of the S. Because my fat fingers don't work so good. So here we go. The young gun has no problem <coughs> sniping a pretty lady from long distance. Whoop, I'm sorry. That, was, that wasn't a once. I'm sorry. That was bad. Got to hit remove that. That wasn't right. I was trying to type once. It jumped up. I got little selections here. Names. We're going once. It's a bidding ward. Casey Rhodes at 38. We got to get the right countdown going. Going twice. Silver Damsel still got a chance. She's been looking for one of those. She says, you want it? Come on, Casey Rhodes. He's just calling you out. He's daring you. He's daring Silver Damsel. Coming out there. Wow, young gun. Yours. Congratulations, he says. So we'll count it down. Let's see if she has a second thought or not. Three. Two. One. Please, he needs this coin. Did he overbid? Who knows? And we got a counter down. Sold. Sold to the young gun, Casey Rose. Congratulations. I think you felt a little bad there, taking it from the lovely lady there at the end. I think he started feeling bad there. He saw that beautiful sticker, and he thought, oh, I can't do her that way. He says, I can't do the young lady, but it's gorgeous. Casey, that is a gorgeous coin, my friend. It is a gorgeous coin. I really think you're going to like that in your collection. It is a nice one. It was out of Milo's personal claim. He shot her four times. Get, make sure we got Casey a holographic sticker. I don't think he's got one. I know if he does have one, he wants another one. Just know how Casey's a big ECP fan. He sends me notes all the time. So he better, huh? You got it, Casey Rhodes. Congratulations, Casey. It's a nice one.
And that was a nice battle. I really enjoyed that. That was fun. We needed one of those tonight. A little levity on the night. So we got a Casey Rose. Let me write that down. Hey, Silver Nitrate. How you doing, my friend? So we got Casey Rhodes at 38. For the Nordic Creature. Congratulations. All right, next up, we're, good. we're staying with high class, guys, and really nice boy. You know, we've changed it up. We've done some constitutional. We've done some peace dollars. We've done some walkers. We've done a Benji. We've done a lot. We've done some beautiful ASEs. We're going to go across the pond to a beautiful Britannia. Three nines fine, 2018. Check it out, ladies and gentlemen. A 2018 Britannia. Don't mind battling for a beautiful coin. And this is on, that little mark right there is on the airtight, guys. It is not on the coin. Look at that. Look at that deep mirror finish. This one's gorgeous. This one is gorgeous. Let's start this one out cheap. Let's go $20 for a one ounce Britannia. Beautifully in an airtight, a 2018 Britannia. If anybody want to throw me out a $20 bid, I'd soon hang on to it to let it go any cheaper than that. A low starting bid of $20 for Britannia. Finger prospecting at $25. He said, ECP, that's too low. You know. Yes, we do. We always like to get the bidding started, though. So we got Pinger at $25. He's just saying, guys, just let me have this. Two pounds. Elizabeth II. It's absolutely gorgeous. $26 for the lady in the house, Silver Damsel. Now, guys, I happen to show you guys. I bet you I didn't. The lovely lady sticker. Miss Silver Dam's on the house. Dennis Stewart from up north. With a 27 finger prospecting. The big whale in the house comes down with a 3 0 bid. Big 30. So Pinger says, man, the Britannias, they are known for their beauty. They're gorgeous. And they're gorgeous. They really are. It is a great sticker from. Silver, I got it right here on my desk. I keep it here. I'm really, really fond of it. It's a good looking sticker. Very well made. A sharp, sharp looking sticker. With all this time they've sent me home from work starting last Friday. So I'm going to have to probably sit there and uh, love you too, Silver Damsel. I'm going to probably have to work on my sticker board. I'll put that one right in the center. Right in the center. So we got Panger Prospecting. At 3 0 is the late A. Andrew O'Neill, Black Mount Cloud Mining, in the house. We're going to go once at 30. But I think a Silver Damsel, 31. The young lady says, Hey, I'm going to get something here tonight. I'll show you guys a Silver Damsel sticker. That's a, a striking image of her. She sent me an email. She looks just like this. I'm telling you, she's a hottie. Silver Damsel in the house. Panger prospecting 32. He just liked the young gun. He said, hey, all's fair in love and war. Just won your first giveaway on the Couch Collectibles. And it's a walking liver hammer. Congratulations. Archaeology Mikey got his first one. He's got Panger prospecting at 32. Knight in shining armor reporting for duty. West Point fever. You got her. So we're going to start trying to count her down for this beautiful Britannia. This is a nice one. The Silver Damsel might be punching from the cheap seats. Going once. She's a lady. But I'm telling you what. She knows her real silver. She might snipe you. Better be careful there, Pinger. Better be careful. Better duck your head. She's known to throw them out. Twice, we're going to start counting her down to Pinger Prospecting. Three, two, one. Sold, sold to Pinger Prospecting. Congratulations, the young lady didn't come back at you. Pinger Prospecting. A little bit late, Silver Damsel. She comes across with a 33, just a little behind. Might want to refresh. Make sure you watch that chat. Misfired, you got it over the top of the head. 
So let's find that. Let's get that coin. Get that finger prospecting's bag. There we go. Write that one down. That's a beautiful coin, I'm telling you. You're going to like this one, Pinger. It, uh, it does, the pictures on the videos do not do that coin value. Uh, value. It really is gorgeous, man. And that's a good price on one of those Britannias like that. Sure, I can get you a sticker. I'll get you another sticker. Let's think, uh, make sure we put one in there. Oh, the Silver Damsel sticker? No, I've only got one. I can't give you my Silver Damsel sticker. She'd probably send you one, though. She'd probably send you one. I don't know what I'd do if I didn't have my lovely lady sticker. Sit right there by ECP. She didn't know I was going to do that tonight, did she? I was waiting to see if she came in the house. That's the Silver Damsel sticker. She's got a good-looking sticker, I'm telling you. Very, very striking image. There you go. She'll trade you one there, Pinger. She said she'd love to trade one with you, Pinger. She gets you one of those gorgeous stickers of hers. All right, guys, let's see. Where am I at here? I got to keep up with where we're at. So that one went for 32. To finger prospecting. And we're going to go back to a real neat, much earlier. And you guys all know I love it. Last one for the night of walking liberty of any type. And again, this is on the airtight, a 2016 beautiful ASE, 2016 ASE, all on these newer airtights, okay, I think I should have cleaned these up before I put them in there, so we'll put it right there, a 26 ASE, and we got Dennis Stewart from up north at 22, we had Casey Rhodes at 20 right before him, they started out the bids right off the bat. There we go for a beautiful 2016 American Silver Eagle. Casey Rhodes at 23. He says, hey, I want to add to my stack. I've already got my $4 shipping covered. And I add this when I stole one away, the Hellhound from the lovely lady. You remember her? Silver Damsel, right? So the young gun sniped that, and he's going for this one now, too. 23 for Casey Rhodes for the ASE. So what's uh, Pinger asking? Well, we're not giving that sticker away, Pinger. I promise you. We're not giving, not giving that away. Silver Damsel says, that's mine for 26. She's ready for a package from ECP. I think she's going to get it. I think 26 is going to get it. That's what I thought. You got it, he says, right off the bat there. So we'll count it down. Going once for 2016 ASE. Going twice. Give her my address, Pinger. Probably I can do that. I think I got her email. I have to look it up there. Make sure you got your your addresses added on your PayPal tonight too, so it's easy. Me, I won't have to dig up old emails. That'd be great. And three, two, one. Sold, Silver Damsel. Congratulations, Silver Damsel, in the house. I don't. She get mad at me, but I say Blondie won it. Blondie got her one right off the bat. There's Silver Damsel. Never show you guys a Silver Damsel sticker yet? There she is. She got her shades. Congratulations. A beautiful 2016. And we'll make sure she's got another ECP sticker. She might want to give it away on her channel. She might want to give it away on her channel. If you see, she swaps me another sticker, I can give one away on my channel. Get her some more subs, right? Get one pinger. She's going to get pinger's going to get her one. Silver damsel. There we go. We're rocking and rolling. <laughs> wow, you got me rolling, rolling on the floor laughing, ECP, she says. I hope so. That's what this auction's all about. It's more about having some fun. It really, truly is. You got to have time, and times like this, you got to have some fun, right? You got to write her name down here for a win right off the bat here. Silver Damsel, 26 for a 2016. All right, guys, we're going to change it up a little bit, and you better hang around because I got a special. I hope my, hope my wells are in the house tonight for the end of stream 
last auction. But guys and gals, I have got a beautiful, uncirculated, mint condition, red seal, $2 bill, 1953 Series C. And this thing is uncirculated, crisp, beautiful. I saw one the other day on stacking stormtroopers that was all circulated up and crumpled up sell for $16. I was like, oh my gosh. I said, they haven't seen my collection. I'm going to throw some of my personal red dollar, red seal, $2 bills. And man, these things are gorgeous. These are history. And look at this. If you don't have a beautiful, crisp, uncirculated $2 bill, here's your chance. There's the Monticello building. You got it. And this one's a looker. It's a beautiful, beautiful $2 red seal. Guys, I'm going to start it out dirt cheap. $5. $5 for an uncirculated Dennis Stewart at 70. So you can ship that to Canada. That's what Dennis Stewart's saying. You got it. Casey Rhodes says, Joseph Richard at 10. It is a beauty. That is gorgeous. You ain't got ever haven't collected bills or you got some bills, there's your chance. Panger at 15. It will come in that hard sleeve to protect it with your shipping. It will keep with its own thing. It is a nice build up season. That's gorgeous. 15. I saw an old ratty circulate them go for 16 on stacking stormtroopers. I did. I was like, oh my gosh. How'd you like a nice, crisp, brand new one? Look at that. Look at that note. You can just see it. You can just see it. It's in a hard seal. It's so pretty. It doesn't look real. All my, my most of my bills are unk. They're in great shape. They are not folded up. 1953. Think of the years on the Pinger prospecting at 18. That's number 14 in the the bidding. So this is our 14th item. That's why I kept it in order. So we got Pinger prospecting at 18, guys. I'm just gonna count it down. It may go cheap. Going once. To Pinger prospecting. I guess Stormy must get higher dollars out of his stuff. I think he got more people watching. Silver Damsel at 19 over top. SD says, nope, I'd like to have that ECP. So we'll count that. Gimme, gimme, she says. Going once to Silver Damsel. She says, I'd like to have that. She says, I've already paid my $4 shipping. Going twice. Pinger prospecting at 20 over the top. Right before we get the sold coming in. It's pretty, but it's not silver damsel pretty, says Buffalo Joe. What a nice compliment. What a nice compliment. That's phenomenal. So we've got this down. Let's see if silver damsel wants to go 21. Going once. Going twice. And we're going to get three, two, one. Sold finger prospecting for $20. For $20. Now I'm going to make, a, make an offer for you, Silver Damsel, since you were the second. I've seen this done in a lot of auctions, especially the livestock auctions, okay? So this is for you, Silver Damsel, if you'd like. We got the next one. Do you want it for the same money that Pinger Prospecting had? Got another one, uncirculated, 1953C. Do you want that, Silver Damsel? For the same money. For 20, so you each get one. So if you want this one also, this is another one just like it. 14 goes to uh, Pinger Prospecting. If you want one, also, we can do it for the same money. Otherwise, we'll put it on the auction block. So it gives the lovely lady a chance at one also. I've seen this done before in auctions. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous bill too. Give me, okay, so that one's going to go to Silver Damsel for 20. So both, we got Pinger Prospecting, got number 14 for 20. Those won't even fit in the bag. So we'll just have to open the top and slide them in. And we'll put number 15. We don't even have to auction it off. So 
Pinger got one, and Silver Damsel both got one. And we're going to have more of these. I've, I've got a pretty good strong bill collection. So keep tuning in to the ECP channel. And you will definitely get your chance at some beautiful bills. Pulling a stormy. Ha, 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 she says. That's too funny. That's too funny. So there we go. Got that one in there for you too, Silver Damsel. Let me write both of those down. And I'm going to tell you about these here in just a minute. Now these are circulated. And man, are they circulated. There's six of them in there. So I had these laying on top of my safe. And I thought, huh, what are we going to do with that one? So we sold this one for 20 the finger prospecting. We sold that one for 20 Number 15, the Silver Damsel. And I thought that worked out good. So I knew that what I was going to do tonight, I said, whoever's the second bidder, I'm going to give them an offer for same money. They do that at the livestock markets a lot when they're selling cattle. So I thought that was kind of neat and something different. Something you don't expect when you're a bidder. You're going in there. Okay, so you got $6 in face. $1 silver certificates. I'm going to lay them out and let you see them. Okay? So these are just traditional circulated silver certificates. Remember, you used to be able to take these to the bank and get $1 in silver back. There we go. There's another one. It says, keep at it and win something eventually. You got it, Silver Dams. You got two of them. I'm showing you each one of these bills. So we got $6 in silver certificates here. They are circulated. You can see the serial numbers here as they go through, right? And you can get an idea of six silver certificates. So let's get this one. That's a little better looking one there. All right, so you got six for the money. And we got what? A 57 series. These are series 57. Doesn't mean it's the year that it was printed in. There's a 57A. There's another 57. Another 57A. Another 57. Another 57A. So you got three for the money. Three 57As and three 57s. 1957 silver certificates. Six dollars worth. We're going to start it at face. Face dollar, six dollars for six silver certificates starting to bid out. Who wants them? They're all coming at one sleeve with number 16, the 16th item, right out to you. Casey Rhodes at six. Joseph Richards at nine. Casey Rhodes at 10 for genuine 1957 silver certificates, series 1957. 1957A, and we got $12 for Silver Damsel. You could actually take these to the bank and get a dollar's worth of silver once upon a time. There go Casey Rhodes calling out the young lady again. Come on, what you do to me there, girl? Hey, did I tell you guys I got a Silver Damsel sticker? You got it. She looks good in them shades, doesn't she? All that silver around her. So we're going to count her down to Silver Damsel for 12, going once. Going to Silver Damsel twice. ECP doesn't mess around. And Casey Rhodes at 13 before I type sold. Split second snipe. I actually had sold typed in. Was getting ready to press the enter or send button. And a last split second snipe again at the young lady. Poor Silver Damsel got a headshot. Oh, my goodness. Holy cow. Young gun in the house. Watch out. He's ready for another battle. He won the last one. Is Silver Damsel going to get the next one? I don't know. We'll have to look and see. We're going once. Make sure you're on live channel. We've probably got a little lag by now. Pew, pew, says Saint. He's got one of the Stormies. Going twice. Is Silver Damsel going to jump in there and snipe the young gun? We'll have to look and see whether she will or not. She's going to go refresh, get a refresh going on. So we'll do a long countdown. Four, three, two. And we're going to see it from 
Silver Damsel. Sold, sold to the young gun. <coughs> Didn't know if the young lady was going to come back out. What do you guys think of the young gun picking on the lovely lady tonight? Silver Damsel. I'll show you guys I got a Silver Damsel sticker. Casey Rhodes in the house. Young gun extraordinaire. Sniper, sniper. Woo! Coming at her. Coming at her. Guys, we're getting close to the end of the auction. Where'd she go? Where'd she go? Casey Rhodes says, where'd she go? You took her out twice, Casey. Took her out twice. Where can I get one of those? The sticker's right here. If you got one West Point, make sure you got one in your bag. You're talking about the stickers? Let's make sure you got one, West Point. I'm going to look at your bag here real quick. I don't know. Yep, you got one in your bag there, West Point Fever. You got one coming with your order, my friend. If you haven't got one yet, let me know. All right, let's find this Casey Rhodes. He's got his silver certificates coming. The lag's killing her. Everybody's got to refresh. Trying to get that refresh going on. Get that refresh going on. I know we've been on here for an hour and a half. I'm sure that there's probably a lot of people on YouTube tonight, guys and gals, because everybody's, a lot of people are home from work and not having to get up early. So we sold those to Casey Rhodes for, wasn't it $12 or $13? What was it? Let's see what it was. I got to go back and look. $13. My lucky number. Hey, guys, let's do a giveaway real quick. Let's do a giveaway. I got so caught up in this, I haven't been doing a giveaway. So I'm going to give away something pretty special. All right, so here we go. Look at this. 1941 Mercury. That's going to be the end of stream giveaway, okay? 1941 Mercury. So hang in there because this coin is gorgeous, and this is the giveaway item. You can't miss on getting this one. So, yeah, me wanty, me wanty, wanty. That is going to be the end of stream giveaway. So, do not leave the house. What we're going to give away right now is one of those circulated silver certificates. Okay? So, we're going to give this away right now. There we go. She's refreshed. She's back in the house. She's back in the house. She's saying, don't be messing with silver damsel anymore did i show you guys i got a silver damsel sticker i did looks well spent that's why it's a giveaway of course of course it is well spent think of how many pockets that's been you could still trade that in once upon a time for a dollar's worth of silver right so all right i've got my number Written down underneath this, underneath this, it's, it's bleeding through my marker. So underneath that, we got 27 in the house. Okay, so we're going to pick a number. Make sure you refresh. Make sure you're on live chat. One guess only. One guess only. For a well circulated silver certificate. Wait till I say something. Here we go. Here we go. Wait for my thing. So let's see who's going to get it. One to 20. Julie Greathouse, put a different number in there. You're out of the range. Put a number in there. We'll let you count that. You didn't look. It was one to 20. Sherry Ward, super mod, comes in the house. One guess only. I still don't see it. I'm 27 in the house. Got to be getting some people on some other streams probably dropping out by now. Uh, I think I'm going to have to stop it. I don't think I see it, though. May have to do it again. May have to do this one again. Unless I missed it. Somebody said it. I got 12. Can anybody guess 12? Anybody guess 12? I didn't see it. I did not see it. 
Nobody. Let's do it again. Different range this time. Different range this time. It's not going to be the same range. Not going to be the same range. One guess only. Okay. One guess only. Make sure you're on live chat. Make sure you're refreshed. There we go. Small number range. Yeah, you're going to wait till I type the chat in there. If you typed it before. All right, we got to stop. 34. Who we got there? I've got Dennis Stewart. It's Dennis Stewart. Congratulations, Dennis Stewart. We can send that to Canada with an international stamp. I may have to figure out how to get an international stamp with me, though. I may have to figure that out without having to go to the post office. So, Dennis, I don't know if I'll get that out tomorrow, but I'm definitely going to put your name on this, my friend. I'm trying to stay away from the post office. That's why I'm having everybody send it goods and services so I can just pack it up here. Maybe I can do it that way. I don't know. We'll figure it out, but I'm going to write your name on this, Dennis Stewart, and set it out here. Please gift it to Sherry Ward. I can do that. That's easy. That's an easy stamp. Sherry Ward. Thank you. That's awful nice of you, Dennis Stewart. That was sweet. So I'll put that right there with Sherry Ward. Got it right here. I've got her address somewhere. If not, Sherry Ward, send me an email. I'm sure I can write got your address there, Sherry. If not, I'll send you an email, but I'm pretty sure I do. All right, guys and gals, now we're getting into the good stuff. Now remember, we got a really nice end of stream giveaway. A 1941 BU Mercury Dime. Thing's gorgeous, man. Look at that thing. Look at that. It's a nice one. So that's going to be the end of stream giveaway, so hang in there. So here's what we got. Just got these in today. We have got a 19, 2019 River or No Return W Quarter MS64. Check it out. This is a slab. We finally had to get some slabbage in. A 64 W. River of no return. Beautiful quarter here. And this is going to go right off the bat. If you can see it. Okay. We're going to start it out dirt, dirt cheap. And scroll up here. Slabbage for $10. $10 starting bid. For a 2019 West Point slabbed and graded quarter. Ten dollars for Casey Rhodes, Dennis Sturt for twelve, Saint for twelve, Silver Dams with thirteen, Casey Rhodes right behind her at thirteen. We might end up with a damsel young gun shootout again. Dennis Stewart at fourteen, Casey Rhodes at fourteen, the Saint at fourteen. Coming down. Casey Rhodes, 15. He likes those W's. Casey likes those W's. MS-64. Mint State, 64. Casey Rhodes at 15. The Saint at 16. We're just getting up to the grading fees now alone, guys. For a nice slab graded coin. And this one's a beauty. This one's a beauty. It's a nice 64. Look at that. Look at that coin. I like the new labels that Annex is coming out with, too. Nice, nice coin there. Really the looker there. MS-64. You got her. Saint at 16. Going once. Saint's going to get him a deal tonight, it looks like. Going twice. ECP doesn't mess around. He goes out quick. You'll get a sticker, my friend. No problem. And sold. Sold to Saint. For the win, $16, and what a heck of a win for a slab-graded authentic 
last in the series, beautiful River of No Return quarter. And he's going to get a beautiful ECP holographic sticker right along with it. Congratulations, Saint. Just add $4 shipping, Saint, and you will also send that goods and services so we can send her out to you right from my mailbox to the Saint. I was thinking sold so much that I wrote Saint and sold. Beautiful coin, my friend. You got your sticker already in there. Cool night, I have to go. Oh, you're going to miss something, Pinger. Pinger, we got something special at the end. I hate that. We've only got one more coin, and then we're doing the last one. So we've got this. I'm going to tell you what, Pinger. I'm going to show you. Give you a sneak peek. We're going to do a Silver Dragon's Bullion hand pour. And this is a special one. 3.3 Tory ounces. The BB Skull. Just so you know. So I, I snuck it away just to give you a quick idea in case you're a big poor fan. But we're going to do one more Annex coin. This is just stuff from, he just came out of the box. I just got him in. Here's a beautiful MS-65 step grade above. Just dust and stuff here on the, the uh, whoop, on the uh, thing here. Thank you, Pinger Prospecting. I'm assuming you got the total. You don't need a total. Your bride is calling. Get her out there. That sounds good. But thanks, Ping. Remember, send it goods and services this time. And just add $4 shipping. We'll have it out in the morning, my friend. Thank you so much for your channel support. And thank you so, so much. So we got a 2019 West Point MS-65. There's the W, guys. Check it out. Beautiful coin. There's the West Point MS-65 quarter. So let's get this in its holder. Let's start this one out at $10. Start her out at $10. Already sent. You're good. Casey Rhodes at $13. Thank you, Pinger. I understand that without a doubt, Pinger. Joseph Richard at $15. This is the MS-65, guys. This is a, a, a higher grade than what we just put off here before. 64s are nothing to sniff at. 65s are even better. Joseph Richard at 15. Casey Rhodes at 16. We're back where the 64 was at now. Back where the 64 was at now. It's a beautiful slabbed and graded annex. The new labels they've got. I like them. The Starburst. The Sunshine. Beautiful slab coin. And the MS-65. And you think to get a grade like that, after they went through a coin rolling machine, going once is saying something that's still pretty special. Going twice. All of them I sent in, the highest I got was a 66. So you know a 65 is pretty high up there. It's Casey Rhodes going to get it for $16. He couldn't send it in and mail it back and get it graded for that. So we're letting these go cheap tonight on the cheap. Great deals. Three. Two, one, sold, sold to Casey Rhodes, West Point Fair. Just missed you. Just missed you. Be glad to show you. Wish I, you'd have got the snipe in there. But we just missed it there, my friend. On my screen. Just by frog's hair. Just by frog's hair, my friend. And get that back in the holder. Oh, just by there. Let Casey Rhodes set him, let him in. All right, Casey, we'll let him in. So we got West Point at 17. West Point at 17. Going once. West Point, Casey Rhodes said, let him in. He must have had a second thoughts on it. West Point, he's out. Casey must have had second thoughts. Going twice, 17 is still a hell of a deal. It's only a dollar more than the 64 went. He said, what? That's awful nice of him, wasn't it? He's gifting you an extra bid, West Point Fever. Man, you can't get this to cost you more than that to have it graded and shipped to you. Anybody going to snipe you? Three, two, 
one sold to West Point Fever. Congratulations. That's awful nice of you, Casey Rhodes. Very, very nice of you. Very nice of you. So let's put that down. So we had the MS-64. I'm going to write that one back down. Went to the Saints for 16, right? And the MS-65 went for 17 just for a dollar more to West Point Fever. Guys, there's some good deals going out tonight. Now, I don't know about this one, but I can tell you I didn't pay lightly for this one. So let's get this to West Point's case. I've got it written down. i got his box bag here somewhere. There it is, West Point Fever. I'm going to add that slab in there. And guys, we're going to have one heck of an end of stream auction here. Something different. You know, I've done some of the Carson Cities. I did two of those at my end of stream in the auction. Everybody saw how high they went. They went for nice, nice money. They were some nice battles there. I know that Silver Dragons is really a pretty big celeb. I don't know what he's up to. Thousands upon thousands of subscribers. And this is one of his early pours. And uh, this is a big pour, too. This is a BB skull. That's the certificate of authenticity. This comes in a red pouch, okay? And I'm going to show you exactly what we've got here. You do love your, everybody loves Silver Dragon's pours. And wait till you see this one. This one I stepped up on. 3.3 ounces. Check it out. Hand poured. BB skull. This thing is numbered too. Check it out. So it's a 3.3 ounce. See if I can get a good focus on this. 3.3 ounce, and there's the three nines fine silver. And it's not never, it's got the BB on it. And there's the Silver Dragons logo stamped into it. But great rippling, beautiful pour, bit of an overpour. See, see the overpour? Beautiful overpour on this. This thing is the bomb. It is gorgeous. $20. <laughs> Joseph, I bet you would. I wouldn't even start it at $20, Joseph. Ah, this is three ounces of silver. 3.3 ounces of silver. This thing weighs a ton. 3.3 ounces. There's a certificate. A fine, three nines fine silver. Hand poured. I think what's he sell for like $27 an ounce? Oh, you're okay. You can always throw a bit out there. But that thing is unreal. Let's get that thing where you can see it. Let's see if we can get this in the main picture screen. If I can put it on here. You got to see this thing. It's gorgeous. I hear Milo. Is Mike Wolf still here? Mike Wolf still here? Let's see if we can lay this right here. Let's do that. That's better. Better laid right there. All right. Mike Wolf, Milo, come here, Milo. Come here, Milo. Milo, come. Come here. Mike Wolf wants to say hi to you. Milo? Milo, here's Mike Wolf. Milo, come here. Milo, are you tired? Are you tired? Are you hiding under there? There's Milo, Mike Wolf. Say hi, Milo. Tell everybody hello. He's under the table, under the desk. Milo, you want a treat? Come here. Come back out here. Uh, he's not going to. He's, my daughter just let him out of the bedroom there. I think he's wore out. I think he, he is a cutie. He's a star. Milo is the star. So, guys, I'm going to start this out really cheap. I know what I paid for this. I think it was $27 an ounce. Okay? Now, that being said, once they're older and they're discontinued, and I'm pretty certain this one's discontinued, they go quite a bit higher. So this is 3.3 .3 ounces. So I probably got over 80 bucks in this, okay, myself. And that's that I paid for it. And it being vintage and something I hang on to out of my private collection, these were poured some time ago. But I'm going to go ahead and start this out at $60.
sixty dollars I'm gonna keep it, you know. I mean just this truth be known for a hand poured silver dragon's pour like this, the BB skull, you know, I'm gonna just hang on to it. And BB, I'm not sure what the BB stands for if that was the first pour. I can't remember. To be honest with you, it's stamp BB. You could ask Silver Dragons, he might be able to remember. I don't know if that's the name of the pour. I don't know if it was like a certain number on the pour or, or what it was, but it's a BB. So we got 75 for Dove Season. Silver Damsel came in at 70. 76 for Julie Great House. This thing is the bomb, and you will get a ECP sticker with it irregardless. Silver Damsel at 80. She's back to close to what I paid for it there. A beautiful 3.3 ounce numbered hand poured silver from Silver Dragons, one of the most famous people in our community. Baggins Bullion. Oh my God, you are right. That's exactly what it is. That's how old this pour is. This was back when he was named Silver Baggins. Oh my God. This really got some age to it then, doesn't it? This is back in the day. I probably should not have pulled this out of my collection. I forgot all about that. That's what it is. Baggins Bullion. Guys, that's crazy. That's when he had to change his channel name because of copyright. These are rare then. This is not common. Baggins Bullion. $85 for Dove Season. Thank you so much, The Saint. He knows. Lots of fans. I remember it now that you said the BB. This is Baggins Bullion. Silver Dragons Bullion. So he was putting that and stamping it back when he still had the BB name. Before he had the BB name. He must have just lost it and came out with the Silver Dragons Bullion. So he stamped it BB. Man, I'm so glad you told me that, Saint. I wouldn't have known. $85, and that's a steal. That is a steal. You figure if I had 27 an ounce times 3.3 i don't know what that is you got silver damsel behind you at 85 you gotta go one dollar more silver damsel so what is that 27 i know an ounce is what i think he's getting now 27 or 28 times 3.3 and then the shipping certificate and the rarity so yeah we're just getting there 86 we'll just start it man we'll see if anybody i don't think i'd be amazed if this goes for 86 especially with this such an early pour going once the Silver Damsel for 86 I thought this would go around a C note myself. But that's okay. ECP doesn't pick the prices. That's why it's an auction. You can get some good deals too. <coughs> so the coup de grace for the night. We'll have that Mercury Dime giveaway after this. Going once. Here we go. Oh, Dove Season at 89 Just as I was getting ready to time twice. Dove Season knows. He knows about the vintage. and Everybody knows the silver dragons lore so we're silver damsel at 90 nine zero for silver damsel it's a fist fight out here with dove season and the lovely lady did i tell you guys i got a silver damsel sticker that's right the beautiful blondie lady sent me a beautiful sticker and she's in there right now at 90 she wants some silver dragons or baggins bullion and here we go Going once to the lovely lady. She's going to get it for the nine zero mark. She's going to get the buy for the night. Going twice. It got a silver damsel sticker. Absolutely twice. And is she going to get it? He's bowing out to the lovely lady. Three, two, one. Sold, sold to the lovely Silver Damsel. Congratulations, Silver Damsel. You get that with a certificate of authenticity. And that is way, way under the going rate. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. And I bet you I got that, that much or more in it. And I know that it's appreciated in a great amount. The 3.3 ounce gorgeous skull. Look at that. BB. Look at the ripples on that one. Look at that dragon. Three nines, fine silver. Oh, dragon's going to say, what are you doing, ECP? What are you doing? Sitting there auctioning off vintage silver dragon rounds? 
You got it. You got it. Only on the ECP channel. You want to come in. It's what draws people in. When you get the special stuff, you pull the good stuff out of your collection, then people want to come to your auction. So I got to make sure that last item is something very special. We're going to even give it a special bag for you, too. So I'm going to put you in a separate bag for that. Has the old stuff. You got it. We'll go back. We did we did that Real with the 1802 Real last week at the end of the stream. You got it. Silver Damsel. Congratulations. Silver Damsel. That's phenomenal. That's great. Now you really need that Merc. And Julie loves her Santa she won. So guys, here's the Merc. You got it. Now guys, send it goods and services. I don't mind the extra 3%. But we're going to do the Merc. The beautiful Merc. This is heck of a nice giveaway, guys and gals. Hey, did I tell you? I got a Silver Damsel sticker. I don't think I told you yet. But I do. Congratulations. Winning the end of stream. Final one there from Silver Dragons. Wow. Wow, that's the bomb. $90. Silver Damsel. Writing it down before I forget. If you all need totals at the end, just hang in there and I'll add anything up. We'll make sure we all got everything together. 43 likes in the house. You have a, There we go, 44. You match that like button. Got 20 people in here watching. We've been on almost two hours. And we're going to give this away as well as an ECP sticker. It's a beautiful 19. Let's see if I can get that to focus. Always a channel 41. Mercury Dime, check it out. It's in that nice hard holder. It will stay in that holder. It'll be humming your way. So let me get a card here to write the number on. So we got to do this. I should do something tricky, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to. We've got some new people in here, so I can't do an ECP trivia question about the farm or something like that because somebody, people wouldn't know the answer, right? So we're going to do a number pick, and we'll fold this up a couple times so nobody can see what the number is, okay? Lay it right there. So we're going to pick a number. 20 people in the house. I'm surprised we can get more people in here tonight. I figured we'd have a bunch of 21. Like jump, get your other accounts up so you can win something free. Everybody pull your other accounts up on your phone or whatever. Always notice right before giveaway, we get more people. Pick a number. Okay, let's see. Hell, I forgot what the number is. It's hard to give a range there. And there's Clarice Pneumatics. New to the channel. Smash that like button if you don't mind. Perry Art. Jump in there. Hello, Clarice. Okay, so we got to figure out my number there. Since there's 20 plus people in here. And we'll say between, pick, pick a number between, I'll get a number range here. My fat fingers are not typing well today. One guess only. Milo, are you going downstairs with Mrs. ECP? I was trying to go downstairs. She's been hanging out with my younger daughter. All right, everybody. Make sure you're on live chat. Make sure you've refreshed. One guess only. And here we go. Sausage handicap. Yeah, fat sausage fingers. You got it. YouTube on there. My daughter just walked by. He said, bye-bye, Milo. Here we go. Here we go. I know we got a little bit of a lag. I apologize. Must be a lot of people on YouTube tonight. There we go. Jeff Ball in the house. One of my moderators. He must have been lurking. And stop. Let's see. I think I saw it. Let's see who the first person was that got it. Help me out, mods. The last thing of the night, number 48. 48. Y'all yeah, check out Jeff Ball's channel. He's got some great photography and some great astronomy. He's had some phenomenal videos. If you'd like to 
be a high-end uh, photographer, astrophotography. I can't hardly say that word, but Jeff Ball's got a great. So, 48. We only got one guess. Did, did somebody guess more than once that won? Let's see who's the winner. You scroll back up. We got first 48 I see is G-Dub. Did G-Dub guess more than once? Is he good? Is G-Dub good? Clarice is guessing a bunch. She didn't realize it. I think G-Dub won. I got G-Dub too, Silver Damn. Congratulations, G-Dub. So G-Dub, send me an email. And if you haven't got a sticker, I'll send you a sticker too. But you won the beautiful Mercury Dime. Now this is a newsmatic coin. I think it's a 1941. There you go. Beautiful coin. Beautiful, beautiful coin there, G-Dub. Congratulations. See if I can get a focus here on it. There we go. There you can see it. Nice coin. It'll stay in the holder for you, my friend. It was a great auction. It was a lot of fun. So, guys and gals, one thing tonight, make your payment. It'll go out in the morning to my PayPal. There it is, ctabmchadwick at aol.com. And please, this time, use goods and services so I can print your label off of PayPal, your shipping label. Add $4 for shipping for your entire order, whatever you want. If you need a total, I can help you out here. And here's the good news is uh, I'm not worried about the goods and services. That way I can print the label and uh, it guarantees your transaction too. But thank you so much. It was a good fun show. show. It always is. I want to tell everybody one thing I want to say is please, everybody, stay safe out there. Use some common sense. I know everybody has varied opinions of what's going on. But ECP just wants to tell that he appreciates all of you. I want everybody to stay safe out there. And I just want to tell everybody how much I appreciate you tuning in to the ECP channel. If you got any questions, if you need your total, let me know. Sounds like C-Rod's all paid up. It was a good, fun show. And I just want to thank everyone for everything. Stay safe, have fun, and we'll all catch up. I'll give you a call, Casey, after I get done here. Um, send you, and we'll, we'll go from there. But, uh. Glad to catch ECP Milo in the chat. Yep, Milo was down there with Mrs. ECP. Everybody have a great evening. Stay safe. We've been on for a couple hours tonight. It was a lot of fun. And Silver Damsel needs a total. So let me get her a total real quick. You guys can chat a little bit while I add that up for Silver Damsel. Let's see. We know she got the big win at the end, right? We know Silver Damsel got that. Let me get your other package, Silver Damsel. I got you double packaged tonight, Silver Damsel. And that's Dove Seasons. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we got of that. Mm -hmm. Like we got 20. Be right there, Silver Damsel. Okay. And checking your bags, it makes it easier and quicker for me to just look in your bag. 26 plus 4. So 90, 110. Should be 140. 140 silver dams. Well, that includes your shipping. 140. So 140 silver damsel is your total. So that's $90 for the silver dragons pour. That is uh, $20 for the Red Seal uncirculated bill. And then that is uh, 26 for the ASE, the 2016 BU uncirculated ASE. And $4 shipping is $140. So that's $140 there, Silver Damsel. Okay. And then you can do goods and services there to my PayPal. So we can just print you an email. Make sure you got your address in there. Okay, Casey Rhodes, I can total yours up, no problem. Put Silver Damsels here to the side. Let's see if we can find Casey Rhodes. We got Casey's here. I think I got you for two wins, Casey Rhodes. So let me figure that out. You got Milo's coin, Casey. You got the Hellhound, didn't you? Number 11, the Hellhound. 38. 
and I think you got all the silver certificates. Thirteen plus four. Should be fifty five, Casey Rhodes. Fifty five. Fifty five, Casey Rhodes. Did I see Silver Damsel's comment before the total? No. Let me see. Scroll back up here. Use common sense with exposure. I'm lost. Um, before the total, she said. Let's see. Give me dove seed and stuff also. Ha ha. Am I allowed to? Is that okay? So, is that okay to give uh, dove seasons to you too? Is that what Dove Season wants to do? So Casey Rhodes, you can type it in there, Casey Rhodes. Here we go, Casey. Make you a mod right now. You can type your email in there, Casey, now for Silver Damsel. No, just kidding. Okay. Dove Season says, no, don't be taking mine. Okay, you guys have me confused. So Casey, you're a mod now. So you, temporarily there, so you can type in uh, your email you want to give that to uh, so G Dub just sent the email. That's good. So there's Casey Rhodes' email there, Silver Damsel. Guess you might want to do a sticker trade or something there with you. So that's not a problem. So that works out good. Okay. Does anybody else need a total? Anybody else need a total tonight, or did you total it up as you went? Did you already total her up or not? We've got 12 people left in the house. I have an Instagram, but don't really use it. Don't know how. I know everybody tries to get me to do Instagram. I haven't had a chance yet. Haven't had a chance. But anyways, but hey, it's ECP. Just shouting out to everybody, telling them thanks. You know, check out everybody's channel. You know, on here, we've got some great people. Hey, did I tell you guys I got a Silver Damsel sticker? You got it. Isn't that sharp looking? That's phenomenal. But hey, everybody, check out Silver Damsel, especially your sticker. It's hot. Great looking sticker. I don't think I showed that sticker yet tonight. But everybody, hey, C-Rod, thank you so much for everything, my friend. Everybody, I enjoyed it. Stay safe out there. If you need a Silver Damsel sticker, Silver Damsel, just in case you want to, you can type your email in there. I just made you a mod. So I think everybody wants a Silver Damsel sticker, but you're probably going to have to trade her. You're going to have to trade her a sticker to get one of these Silver Damsel stickers. Rod has a sticker, so he already knows. I got gotcha. you. Okay. But anyways, everybody have a good time out there. I appreciate everything everybody's doing. Have fun. Be safe. ECP. Unless somebody needs a total. Going once. C-Rod needs a total. Uh-oh. Here we go. Hang on. Almost signed off. We've got to miss my buddy C-Rod. Let's see. Where's his bag at? Let's just see how many things he's got in there. Just got one thing, don't you, C-Rod? Early on there. 36, C-Rod. It'll be 36. You got a 91. There, so uh, what's here? Oh, you're good. So you said, I do. Oh, you mean I do? You got a sticker. I'm sorry. I thought you needed a total. I was saying that when your comment popped up. But hey, unless somebody needs a total, it's ECP. Going once. It's ECP. Going twice. And it's ECP saying, hey, you got to see my Silver Damsel sticker? Going three times. ECP. Over and out. Thanks, guys. Stay safe. Have a great time. Have some fun. Take care.